Mr. Papa Lunchbox, what you got for us? Hi, everybody. Mammo, Papa Lunchbox. Um, we've been uh, having a real good conversation this week, and uh, we touched a little bit uh, on wrestling fans, and we all I think we all can agree there's different kinds of wrestling fans out there. Um, and uh, it got me to thinking, and I, I'm curious what uh, – what everybody's opinion on this is as we are all wrestling fans. So my question Mm -hmm. this week, the big question is what makes a good wrestling fan? Mm, Wow. What makes a good, you're assessing us as fans. We're self-assessing a good fan. What what is it that makes a good wrestling fan? This is a big question where we piss everyone off. This this is where. Yeah, let's do that. Oh boy. (laughs) I I mean, okay. So let's qualify this as, as you know, this is going to be like, in our opinion, what are the wrestling fans that we like to talk with and associate Mm. with? Right. Like, like I don't want to like I don't want this to be a fan bashing thing. No, yeah. absolutely not. It's that's why it's it's not what is what makes a bad fan, it's what makes a good right. wrestling fan. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. And and okay, okay. All right, I'm working on this. Anybody have one right, right off the bat? All right. Okay. So Bruce? I have a quick one. Uh, to me it's to give everything a chance. If you have an indie fed that you want to go to, go to that. If you have, if you like ROH, if you want to watch ROH, go watch ROH. If you want to watch TNA, watch TNA. If you want to watch Lucha, watch Lucha. Have have the have a vast variety of things. Also, don't always bash the people that like a different thing that you don't like. <laughs> that that kind of sounds like bashing, but I'm just trying to figure out a way to say it, which is doesn't but i can't do it right now but uh it 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 was it's just to the point it's where i'm like trying to think of a way to say these things but uh yeah just be open about things some people like things you don't like some people like things you don't like so maybe just you know balance it out a little bit this is all these are all just like rules for being an okay person on the internet yeah kind of yeah Um, can I go next? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Were, you, were you done, Riz? Yes. Okay. Um, two things I think mm-hmm. make a good wrestling fan. Mm-hmm. And they both start with the letter P. Uh, Pizza? One is passion, oh. and the other is Pizza. perspective. Oh. No, no, no. I can see where you'd think that, but no. <laughs> um, passion Sorry, and perspective. Uh, loving wrestling. And all of the madness that goes along with it, because mm-hmm. let's let's be honest, wrestling is a very difficult thing to love. <laughs> it's, yeah, how many times have we uh, compared watching TNA to being in an abusive relationship? Mm-hmm. Does you remember how good it used to be? And it's never going to be that good again. <laughs> um, but uh, you have to you have to be able to take the good uh, with the bad, and I think having a passion for professional wrestling will help you in that as will perspective knowing that what you're watching is written by people who are completely fallible. Mm -hmm. They make mistakes just as much as everybody else. That's important. And, uh, uh, knowing, knowing something about the history of professional wrestling and where things are coming from and being able to appreciate that I feel is also very important. So those are my, uh, my two things. Wow. Wow. I thought of, I thought of three traits that I think kind of fit. Um, I, and they kind of tie into lunchboxes. They have to be um, enthusiastic. Mm-hmm. We could, they have to be, you know, they have to love, you know, professional wrestling in a way where it makes them, you know, obviously makes them excited, you know, um, all that stuff. Uh, they have to be respectful, which I think kind of plays into that as well, is the, uh, just respectful, like you said, of sort of the greater thing, like you mentioned, that people are fallible, but also just general respect in, in the case of respecting, you know, you know, aspects of kayfabe and, and, and certain things along those lines as well. Um, and then the final one, uh, I think that, that should also be added to that, is they need to be inclusionary. Uh, because... 
I, I, I don't want to say this is exclusive to wrestling, but it's a very, it's much, it's very much a group thing. Like you watch it in, you know, I think it's a thing that's best watched with other people and, and do it every Monday. Yeah. So I, exactly. So I feel like it's something to not exclude people and not to think, you know, to, to, to and, and teach them maybe or, or, or do whatever to sort of get them excited and get them involved and make new fans. Um, there's a, there's a really good podcast that just started recently from the guy, one of the guys that does the, uh, Attitude Era podcast called How to Wrestling, uh, <laughs> which is him and his girlfriend basically sort of going over like in detail like every aspect of wrestling, uh, and and I really like it because uh, that, that's the one thing it is it is has it has to be inclusionary it has to be something that you allow other people into, um, so so yeah that, that that would be my three. That's awesome. Okay. That's awesome. Uh, I I like that because uh, kind of to go off yours a little bit. Because I got to think about, like, I, I, I think everybody's been at that point. Some of us aren't, like, really into sports. And when you just get dropped into watching a football game, you have no idea what's going on. And mm -hmm. somebody has to help you, right? And right. you have to be educated and, and to a certain point, you know, versus, you know, watching wrestling in a different kinds. And it's complicated because there's so much variety out there, right? Um, I mean, how many times have we seen people saying, you know, I'm trying to get the girlfriend or showing her CM Punk, da da da, oh, he likes this wrestler, you know, or the Total Divas gateway drug that, that we've discussed over the past uh, year <laughs> or so. I mean, I think that's, that's very important. Um, but, jeez. Uh, Jeez, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out a thing that doesn't sound condescending, uh, but that's yeah, really that was my that's really hard with this question, isn't it? <laughs> but um, I mean, I mean, but we've seen that where where somebody will drop into a chat room or when we used to do the open hangouts, and or you see comments on some of our videos where you're like, you're talking about wrestling on a different level than we are, you know, <laughs> which is okay, and accepting mm -hmm. you you also have to accept that.